you were watching a clip from the Dead Ball TV podcast. Make sure you subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Now let's talk about the most controversial transfer, maybe of the window, maybe ever. I don't know. And that is Neymar going to the Saudi oh, League. Baby. He has apparently oh, finished his medical. All the documents have been signed with all Hilal. Neymar is 31 years old. You can take that how you would like. I feel like there's a lot of nuanced discussion to be had around this move. I okay. feel like we should just start with the the burning question that everybody's been asking all day since the news broke. Has he thrown his career away with this move? You know, I'm going to try and uh, not ramble here. I'm not, I'm not going to rant. But you need some context here. Okay. The guy leaves Brazil and goes to Barcelona. Probably the most electric signing maybe ever, right? Like the Gareth Bale mm. transfer was big, but Neymar was the next Messi. He was the next Ronaldinho. He was the next Ronaldo. He was the next R9. He was anything you wanted. Like, you just saw him, and you saw the joy of football incarnate. He was the um, next Pele. He was the next S Pele. Santos Neymar was different. Santos Neymar was like, different. Barcelona Neymar was pretty that's, that's what incredible, they, too. That's what they touted him. Oh, my God. Like. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. But, like, when he was in Brazil, it was like, now this dude going to be a stud. I mean, he won goal of the year off of a banger, dude. A banger, reminiscent of Pele, reminiscent of Maradona, reminiscent of Ronaldinho, reminiscent of R9. Like, the legends of the game, everybody supported him. And he had fun while he was doing it. Say what you want about his flopping, but he was the wonder kid. Everybody after, I would say, honestly, he was more of a wonder kid than Messi was, than Ronaldo was. I would say that people wanted more from him and expected more from him than I think uh, either of the two greatest footballers on the planet, right? Every wonder kid after that. I don't know if I agree with Ronaldo. What do you mean? You think that people expected a lot more from Ronaldo as a wonder kid? Or I as a transfer? Of, I, th I think the only way for me to agree or disagree is we'd have to define, like, at what point are we talking okay. about the expectations? Like, okay. like, are you talking about as soon as Messi, like, went over – Valid a kid to Barcelona, or you okay, talking hold like on, Ronaldo hold on. with sporting? You know what I mean. I don't. Like I don't want to rant. This merits another video. This merits a, a different okay. video. This is okay. a whole discussion oh. we can. Then, have. I, then I'm. Let's just let's just put that aside. We're gonna table just that. Keep going. Okay, we're gonna table Every, that. And subscribe. Hit subscribe for it because that one's gonna be a doozy. Every wonder kid has tried to capture this hype. Like he built his entire brand off of it. His dad started a business. Like it is Neymar was a brand. Is a brand. Mm -hmm. How did it pan out? He was electric at Barcelona. Electric. But you could make an argument that he was potentially the weakest of that front three at times. Flash and pizzazz, fantastic. Excellent okay. showmanship, brilliant. But he never really took it to that next level. So when he went to PSG, was with the idea in mind that Messi is going to start downturning. Ronaldo are going to start, you know, or Messi and Ronaldo are going to decline. Neymar's stock is going to rise. He's going to bring a championship or uh, the, the Champions League to France, to Paris. That idea, right? It's mm -hmm. the idea of Neymar. He's not really happy with that, right? With how it so, played out or with that expectation, with those pressures, right? He thrives when he's having fun. PSG is not historically not a fun club to play at. When was the last time you saw somebody have fun there? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it's a toxic club. That's why I think when you define or you try and make a call either way on did he throw his career away, you have to take into account what he wants because he's made the monetary success, right? Trophies, the cabinet is a lot more sparse than people anticipated. But for him, I would say he's not throwing his career away because I don't think he's going to decline for another three, four years pending pending serious injuries, which you know he's prone to. Mm -hmm. um, I think he's got three, four good years left in him. Mm -hmm. And um, I think he wants the pressure off. I think he wants to make money. He wants to be able to tell the club, hey, I'm going to see my family. I'm going to see my sister. I think we're going to see some really lovely stuff from him now. And I think he's going to be happy there. And his career from now on is going to be defined with Brazil. And I think he's okay with that because he doesn't love Paris. 
And when Barcelona became unrealistic, I think he was like, you know what? Messi looks really happy too. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go make a bag. I'm going to go make bank. And I'm going to live my life. And I'm going to lock it in for Brazil. So I would not be surprised if we see some truly excellent Mm -hmm. Brazilian Neymar performances now. Um, That is what he's defining his career by. So I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he's got a lot more to give. I think if we break it down by each section of his career, I don't know how you can make any argument whatsoever that this guy was a failure. Like, he's won everything at every club that he's been at. The only thing he didn't get is what nobody's been able to get, which is the Champions League at PSG. Not Messi, not Mbappe, not Ibrahimovic, not Di Maria, not Cavani. None of them. None of them. Got him to a final. They were better... Then Byron not in Beckham, that final. Not Ronaldinho, none of them. Nobody. Nobody. I mean, I'm just I don't want to just list every single achievement that he's had in Europe because it would take me five and a half minutes, but he won 21 major trophies in Europe. I mean, he owned owned the French League while he was there. Two two La Ligas, one Champions League with, with Barcelona as well, several Spanish Cups, like five or seven different French Cups, Libertadores with Santos, Brazilian Cup with Santos. Like, I feel like the only way you can say this man is a failure is if you thought he was going to be the best ever. Yeah. And I think that was the expectation. And I think that's a lot of the right. controversy surrounding this. Because right. he had, at least in Paris Saint-Germain, People thought like, okay, Messi's going to enter Miami. Ronaldo's over in Saudi Arabia. Maybe now he can take that step and become the best footballer in the world. But I, dude, honestly, I think his maybe even his like performance peak was at PSG. I mean, he put he put some crazy performances on there. He was mm-hmm. carrying that team mm-hmm. in a season where both Messi and Mbappe had pretty freaking good seasons. Yeah, he was unplayable for. Unplayable. A lot of the time he was there. Unplayable. He would humiliate people. Mm-hmm. And he had fun doing it, you know? Um, maybe not as much fun as he had at Barcelona or uh, Santos, but, I mean, that smile, that trademark Neymar smile, you know, he scores a goal and he does yeah. that little jog and he's like, got his squinty eyes going on. Like, it's iconic. Yeah. It is an image in footballing history that is forever burned into my brain. And I think that's what he's chasing, you know? I think he feels satisfied with what he's put out there. He doesn't want any more of the pressure. I don't know. I back this move. If this is what's going to make him happy, I back the move. I'll just say from from my own perspective, the lack of success with Brazil affects his legacy in my head way more than this move does. Agreed. Totally agree. Because, dude, you're just a goddamn idiot. If you look at his club output and performance, you say, no, that wasn't good enough. Like, you are straight hating if you say that. Yeah, man, put up like twenty and twenty, like in seasons and stuff. I mean, it's insane what he's doing. Yeah, at the club level, it's the Brazil that you look at it and you're like, no Copa America. Yeah, no Copa America. He's got a, a Olympics, yeah, and a, a Confederations Cup. Yep, but he's got time. He's got time. There's no he's reason to write this. Yeah. It's so yeah. Messi didn't win his until last year. The last Bro- gasp. I'm glad you brought that up. I think that's part of the problem I have with the response is like, why are we acting like the Neymar book is finished being written? Like it's done. He's 31. He's got an entire world cup. Dude, if he wins the next Copa, we have a completely different narrative around Neymar. If he wins the next world cup. Oh my God. That's it. He's the greatest ever. He's the goat. He's the greatest ever. Then the media comes out. I always knew he had it in him, even though they've been hating on him the whole time. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think for the Saudi league, if we want to talk about that for a second. Yeah. I mean, God damn. God damn. What a signing. What a signing. What a signing. Like. Yeah. He's 31. He's 31. He's in his prime still. It's just unbelievable. And you know they're going to protect him too. Like if you're worried about injuries, Mm. this is going to be the do not touch Neymar league is what it is. (laughs) Let him let him humiliate. God, I him. hope not. I, I hope not. I hope they actually because I don't want I don't want the league to be like MLS. I don't want it to be a show. I want it to still be sport. I don't yeah. want this league's club where it's like, 
hunch or Miami have gotten three pens and five free kicks in every single Leaks Cup game. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that at all. Which I feel from the limited amount or the limited amount of highlights that I've seen on Twitter that it's not. And I think a lot of my Twitter is full of a lot of MLS and Saudi League comparisons where yeah. Oh, yeah. it seems like a lot of the Euros, they are using this as another reason to clown on the MLS. Because they're saying like the U.S. couldn't pull off a move like this? They're saying that the U.S. doesn't have the caliber of play to even entice these type of players to come over. You know, Messi is a, you know, a, a one-time thing, an anomaly. Type of yeah. play? I mean, it's it's money. That's the only thing that's getting these players yeah. to go to Saudi Arabia and MLS. It's money. If anybody's anybody citing like ambition, about that, yeah. like you're a fool. Nobody wants going to go to, I don't and know. win no, the Lamar Hunt. The guys, I want to go there. I want to win the Lamar no, Hunt. No, Shakiri didn't go to the Chicago Fire because he still has ambition. They were willing to offer him a big contract, probably a multi-year guaranteed contract, something he couldn't get in Europe. Everybody's going to Saudi Arabia because their contracts are going stupid. They'll pay you 300K to be a decent player. That's why they're going. This isn't like, a, oh, all of a sudden, Neymar uh, rates the Asian Champions League. Well, which I think just got rebranded to like Asian Champions yeah, the, it, Tournament of Heroes it's, it's or got, some it's got bullshit some, it's name got some like stupid that. Name. But, but what I was yeah. trying to say is that like people are making comparisons that the, the Saudi League is an overall better league than the MLS. Because of I think experience. now, yeah. Mm, top to bottom, I would still disagree. But, I mean, if this continues, of course. But they, I mean, they, got, a, they got a lot of rosters to, like, flush out. They've only had, like, a year yeah. of this spending spree. Give it, like, three years, then we can have the conversation. But, like, yeah. right now, of course. They've had, like, like one and a half windows. Pound. Exactly. Exactly. You know, you know who their next signing is going to be? Evan Ferguson. That would be such a statement. Holy that shit. That would be insane. No, no, no. Oh, it's my gonna be, God. It's going to be Lukaku. Yeah, they Lukaku's going. a bunch of strikers, bro. I'm waiting for the defense to get some investment, but I think I'm the only person that appreciates uh, defensive football, which is fine. Yeah, look, let's wrap it up on the Neymar thing. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't think it's the end of the world. doesn't seem no. like any of us think it's the end of the world. I don't know why everybody's tripping sack over this. Like... It's fine. Really How are. many years yeah. did he even sign for? Was it two years that he signed for? I, I need to look up the... I thought it was like three or four. Was it three or four? But even then, he could go to back to Barcelona for a year or something like that. They can't afford his house. No, He will now join Al Hilal on a two-year contract with an option for a third. So he doesn't even have to pick up the third option, which he will because they're going to pay him disgusting money. But I mean, he's 34 as a free agent. He probably goes back to Brazil or most likely MLS. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Where, where, did, where did you guys want him to go? Where did you want him to go? Back to Barcelona? It's not real. It's not real. That's probably what people wanted. Or they're like, oh, come yeah. to my club in the Prem. They can't come pay to us. Liverpool. Come to Chelsea. He should have gone to Chelsea if he had ambition. God, I hate this. God, that fan base. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just infuriating. We need to switch <laughs> topics immediately before I go off.